Like most of you, I've been eagerly anticipating Linux Mint 22.2 Zara to see what changes would be made, as well as if there would be better Wayland support. And today we're going to get some of those answers thanks to 9to5Linux, which released an article today that shows Linux Mint 22.2 has a beta out. So what you're seeing here is Linux Mint running inside of a VM on my machine. I'm not running it on a live CD. I have installed it. And we can see in the corner over here, Linux Mint 22.2. So we are running Zara. One of the first things I noticed is if you type in fingerprints, you now have a fingerprint tool where you can enroll fingerprints. Unfortunately, I don't have a machine that can do fingerprint enrollment. So for now, we can just see that the application does exist. Having a look at the OS release file shows us that the Ubuntu codename is still Noble and we do know for a fact that it is based off of 2404.3 which has recently come out. Then looking at the system info we can see the Cinnamon version is 6.4.8 which is obviously the latest version of Cinnamon and the current display server is X11. Something else that's been mentioned is there is better lib at Wadia integration. So I thought we might give that a try. I know the disk tool is running on libadwadia, so let's open that up. And we can kind of see the difference already because of the rounded corners, and it feels very much like a Gnomish app if you use Linux. So let's switch this to dark, and let's change the colors to purple. And yeah, for the most part, it does seem to be integrating the theming pretty well. So there's something else that I'm seeing. I don't know if they would consider it a bug fix or an improvement, but there was some kind of tearing in the menu. When you'd scroll through menu items, you would get a tear through the last part of the selected part on the menu. And I can see that that's gone because it's definitely working as intended, even if I'm scrolling. So kudos to you, Linux Mint team. If that is a fix you have put in, the, the one guy, that's me that noticed that that's unhappy about it is very happy now. The last thing I thought we'd check out is Wayland support. And if you would used Linux Mint before, you'd also understand that Wayland wasn't in a workable state. I don't think I'd used it once where I was actually able to boot into a Wayland desktop session. So let's try it out now because apparently there are improvements. So let's hit Cinnamon on Wayland Experimental, put my password in. So yeah, as we can see, we're in a Wayland desktop session. And something I'm interested to find out is if they've already started converting the way their touchpad gestures work. Because in X11, those gestures weren't as smooth as in Wayland. In Wayland, it kind of works like a MacBook where as you drag your fingers across the trackpad, you can actually see the desktop move. And I wonder if Linux Mint is going to do something similar to that. I doubt they've done anything like that now because they have their own gestures application, which is able to integrate gestures into the operating system. So I wonder if that will come. My guess is right now it'll work the same way that it works in X11, but we'll have to see. That's all I could find. If I missed something, please let me know. If you found something, please let me know. And if you'd like me to do more videos like this, please hit the like button and uh, let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for checking out this brief checkout of Linux Mint 22.2 Zara beta. I'm super excited to see the final version come out when it does. Thanks so much for checking this video out. It means a lot to me. If you enjoyed it, hit the subscribe button and I will see you in the next video.